Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch once again in the ancient city, the oldest city in America, St. Augustine, Florida. And we're visiting a very popular attraction here in St. Augustine, a St. Augustine stable, Weststone Chocolates. There are three different Weststone Chocolate locations in St. Augustine. One is located on George Street within the historic district. Another is on Anastasia Island, just over the Bridge of Lions. And today we are at the factory store here on King Street because not only are we buying chocolates, which we're all excited for, <laughs> we're also taking a tour of the chocolate factory. This is our first time visiting the factory store. We've been to the George Street location and the historic district a few times, uh, but this is our first time at this location for a tour which is surprising because we love St. Augustine we love exploring this beautiful historic city and if you do share that same love and interest for St. Augustine be sure to subscribe because we'll be back for Nights of Lights this year the holiday light display featuring more than 3 million lights and other attractions too so please keep joining us off the couch and let's talk more about the tour we're about to enjoy so happy we finally get to do this the tour starts in the retail store it runs about an hour and I'm excited for it we're all excited for it uh, we're gonna have the opportunity to try five pieces of chocolate we all love chocolate especially me I am a proud chocoholic I always have a greater appreciation for the product after learning more about the ingredients and the process and this is going to be interesting because I don't know if I can appreciate chocolate more than I already do. I really don't know. So while we wait for the tour to start, we get a history of chocolate throughout the years just by reading the signs on this wall. I'm going all the way back to 900 BC. And when our tour guide starts the tour, um, she picks up from the opposite wall from 1967 when Whetstone Chocolates officially began with the creation of 13 homemade fudge recipes and hand dipped chocolates in the owners Henry and Esther Whetstone's home kitchen. A couple of facts that we found interesting that was shared on the timeline of the wall as well as by our tour guide as our presentation begins. In 1970, the same year that Whetstone Chocolates opened their first factory and store, Walt Disney World opened as well and Whetstone Chocolates was their chocolate provider for a little while. Wow! <laughs> Whetstone Chocolates has actually worked with Nestle and Hershey's also. This is the intro to our tour. Uh, before we move to the factory with our hair nets in place and beard guards, uh, for some guests also, I was calling them beard nets. I was telling London, like, here's your hair net and beard net, but they're <laughs> it's actually called a beard guard. Uh, we have to keep those on while we're in the factory. First though, we get to try a piece of fudge, cookies and cream. Uh, I've tried their vanilla caramel pecan fudge before during our walking tour of St. George Street, and I love the vanilla caramel pecan fudge, and I'm having the same reaction to this fudge. So after that, cup of sugar uh, we're gonna head outside to the factory with our tasting cards in hand for our chocolate samples and continue this tour there is a video within the factory detailing where chocolate comes from how it's produced from the seeds of the cacao tree and then it's time for another sample we have a piece of avales chocolate now what I love, uh, besides the taste of the chocolates of course, all of these chocolates are named after an aspect of St. Augustine. Avalas Blend Milk Chocolate is named after Avalas Street, the oldest street in America. Excavations of this street have unearthed pottery shards from the early 1600s. And this chocolate is described as having a light sweetness and predominant milk flavor and includes six ingredients, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, soy lecithin to help all of the deliciousness stay together, vanilla, sugar, and powdered milk. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I'm savoring it until it's time for the next sample, which comes up rather quickly. This is our white chocolate sample, the San Marco blend, 100% cocoa butter, and it's named after the San Marco district within St. Augustine, which includes many shops, galleries, restaurants, and attractions too, located north of the downtown city entrance at George Street. 
This chocolate tastes so smooth and creamy. It's just delicious. My daughter loves it. The next sample we receive will actually be in the factory. The catch is we can't eat it, um, not until we leave the factory. In the meanwhile, we learn how the packaging happens. We watch as each Weststone Signature chocolate shell is individually wrapped and then marches merrily on its way. It's just a series of happy moments. Other happy moments during the tour is seeing the huge vaults of chocolate, the caramel popcorn receiving personal individualized attention, love caramel popcorn it looks so delicious and fresh and we're learning how pretzels blueberries cherries and other suitable companions for chocolate become chocolate covered and realize their fullest potential plus we're learning how chocolate gators and dolphins sometimes turkeys and christmas trees too are hand filled with the molds and then they even hand fill their own chocolate bars too which i think is really awesome and I must say, after watching some of the process and learning more about what goes into making a quality chocolate, I actually do have a greater appreciation for chocolate. I didn't realize my love for chocolate could get any stronger. <laughs> Since we are now out of the factory, we can try our chocolate shell. And we have the opportunity to choose um, three different flavors of their shells. Key lime, toffee crunch, and mint crunch. I'm trying the Toffee Crunch, uh, so is London and my son. Uh, my daughter did get something different. She has the Mint Crunch. And I want to let you all know, they're both great. And for my daughter and I, this is a personal best for us. This is the longest that we've held a chocolate without eating it. It really is a record. Now, if you are on a tour and you find yourself wanting to try some of these other delicious flavors, I'll personally confess, during the tour within the factory, I kept feeling my hand um, being drawn to those huge boxes of chocolate shells. Uh, but within the retail shop, you can actually pick and purchase any and all of the different flavors of shells. You can pick them out individually. So you just grab away within these containers and try any of the flavors that you missed out on. Back to the tour though, because there are still two samples left both dark chocolate and I'm not missing out on that. I love dark chocolate. And this is the De Leon blend dark chocolate with 47% cocoa named after Juan Ponce de Leon. The statue of the Spanish explorer is in front of the Plaza de la Constitución. Juan Ponce de Leon claimed Florida for Spain in 1513, which is considered the first documented arrival of European culture to Florida's coast. Now, I do love all chocolate at the same time. I do have a slight preference for dark chocolate, depending on the day and my mood, of course. By the way, what is your favorite type of chocolate? Dark milk chocolate or white chocolate? Do you have a preference? You know, this whole time that we've been sampling and tasting all these different chocolates, we've been learning about the subtleties and differences of the chocolates, and now we're learning about the differences of our final sample, the Menendez Blend Dark Chocolate. And the differences of this chocolate goes beyond taste. This chocolate is named after Pedro Menendez de Avalas, the founder of St. Augustine. This statue of the Spanish explorer stands in front of the Leitner Museum. And this chocolate, named after the founder of St. Augustine, because of his high cocoa content, since it exceeds 70%, this piece of dark chocolate offers a range of health benefits. Our tour guide is telling us we would need to consume an ounce to enjoy the benefits, which would be four of these pieces. And I can do that easily. Uh, yes, it's not as sweet as the other chocolates, but I I still like it a lot. I think it tastes great. Plus, I get to enjoy these health benefits too. Double my prescription. <laughs> so that is our last sample, as I stated, and the end of the tour, but not the end of our delicious journey. Thank goodness. We're learning that our sticker from our tour entitles us to 10% off at Teddy's Old Time Ice Cream, the oldest ice cream shop in St. Augustine, and the first store of the founders of Whetstone Chocolates. They sell ice cream, right? <laughs> and also milkshakes, coffee, plus more. The 10% discount from the tour also applies to the Spanish Bakery, which is located behind the Whetstone location on St. George Street. 
Um, they sell empanadas, which we enjoyed. Also soups, sandwiches, and other options, as well as desserts like turnovers, which we also enjoyed during our visit. Um, during our walking tour of St. George Street Part 1 video, we did visit both Teddy's Old Time Ice Cream and Spanish Bakery, as well as the Whetstone location on St. George Street. To see our full experience, check out the link to that video in the description box. In addition to those discounts, there is also a $2 coupon off of $10 on our tasting cards. Uh, so we'll head into the retail store for some more goodies to take home. During this video, we've been popping in and out of the retail store already, but there's a few more yummy selections that I want to point out. Weston offers 23 different flavors of gelato, and the kids are getting two of those flavors, strawberry cheesecake and vanilla Oreo cookie. These gelatos are made in-house, and we had the chance to see the equipment used to create these gelatos during the tour. So the kids are now enjoying their bowls of gelato. For me, I satisfied that longing to grab the shells right out of that box in the factory. And I'm picking up a few different flavors of signature Weststone chocolate shells so I can have my own personal sampling experience at home. Now I have something else to look forward to now that the tour is done. And London is grabbing a couple of stone crabs. Same ingredients as turtles, so if you love turtles, you'll just transfer that same love over to these stone crabs. And London also has a bag of gator bait. It includes pretzels coated with avalanche milk chocolate, the first chocolate sample that we absolutely loved, as well as peanuts, crisps, and flakes. I didn't even see this in the retail shop. There is so much to choose from within the retail shop. Glad he has a big bag because like I said, it's sampling time. I'm carrying this sampling state of mind home with me. <laughs> Speaking of sampling, our tour guide let us know that there are chocolate sauces with alcohol. Great for topping ice cream, brownies, I'll take more suggestions in the comments and you can sample those also. For the sake of the video to make sure that we're providing helpful information, London and I sampled some of the sauces and I highly recommend it for my 21 and over fellow chocoholics. So that is our visit and tour of Whetstone Chocolate Factory. Before I start the second round of in-home sampling, let us know your thoughts. Have you taken the tour? Is it in your plans for your next trip to St. Augustine? Love it and I highly recommend it. I really love how they brought the St. Augustine history into the chocolate shop um, with the naming of the different chocolates. I thought that was very unique, very cool. The tour is just so engaging. It's interactive, especially the sampling part. My kids did not complain once. They loved it from beginning to end. We've done a video in the recent past on called St. Augustine with Kids. Uh, if you haven't had the chance to see that, if you're interested in it, we'll put the link to that video in the description box. From London and my personal experience, our kids aren't always into the history and architecture of St. Augustine. So we discuss different activities um, where your kids can be involved and enjoying the ancient city along with the adults. Uh, and I would have to say, I would add this to the list. I think this is a great activity for kids, a great activity for families. So together you can eat chocolate, learn more about chocolate, deepen your love for chocolate, and then afterwards reward yourself for trying and learning something new. Thanks again for joining us for this rewarding experience. And join us next video, please, in Siesta Key, Florida, on the beautiful award-winning Siesta Beach for the 2022 Siesta Key Crystal Classic International Sand Sculpting Festival. We're back in Siesta Key enjoying the sand sculptures both by day and by night this time. We're here for two days of this festival filled with amazing art, food, vendors, and sand sculpting fun. Be sure to have your notification bell on too because tis the season for more events, more holiday fun, 
and more videos. Uh, we should have two videos coming your way next week. So please subscribe if you're yet to do so. Turn on the notification bell and keep joining us off the couch. As always, thanks so much for joining us off the couch here in the ancient city, St. Augustine, Florida. Thanks so much for all the comments, feedbacks, likes, and shares. The adventures don't happen unless you're off the couch with us. So thank you so much. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.